Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla podcast. Well, it looks like we have an update to a lawsuit that Legendary Pictures was facing that I had talked about throughout these past couple of years. Um, it, it looks like it was finally resolved today, so I'm going to give all the good information associated with it here. First, a brief history. Um, this was a lawsuit that was filed two legendary pictures by three producers uh, I had talked about this throughout several videos over the past couple of years and it was three producers by the name of Dan Lynn Roy Lee and Doug Davison who were brought on board by legendary pictures as early as around 2009 to try to help uh, the Godzilla movie get made they apparently were given uh, oral contracts oral just being spoken as opposed to written contracts which are on paper about what their deal was if the Godzilla movie was to be made um, and what their incentives were going to be. Um, their incentives were going to be huge. I mean we're talking about potentially um, a compensation of 1.3 million dollars and then three percent of of whatever Godzilla makes in theaters um, along with a development fee of twenty five thousand dollars all of this based on all agreements um, between legendary pictures and these three producers but the lawsuit came about because sometime around um, let's say 2013 or so that's when the three producers were summarily dismissed by legendary pictures uh, by legendary pictures stating to them we don't need your services anymore and all they got paid was the development fee of 25,000 think of it like a finders fee of sort and the other items related to the 1.3 million dollars and the three percent of whatever Godzilla makes were gone and so the three producers filed a suit then and there back in 2013 I remember talking about this since then, thinking that there's a chance that this could affect the impact of the movie being released. Um, obviously, none of that ever occurred because this lawsuit, the trial date was set back and then set back again. It was beyond the date of the actual release of the film, so that didn't impact it. And then finally, there was going to be something starting later on this year with regards to the trial date. Uh, Legendary tried to get this avoided in court and instead try to do it let's say through an arbitrator um, which in their case would have been much better but they lost on that part and so this was gonna go to court but the big news today is that this lawsuit has now been settled the case that was gonna go to trial has now been withdrawn so that means it's over it is 100 percent over um, what they won or what legendary pictures gave them uh, if it was good news or bad news we don't know because uh, the, the terms of this particular settlement are gonna remain private which is usual when it comes to anything involving um, lawsuits between several parties if there's a settlement agreed upon it's usually agreed upon only if it's confidential so I don't think we're ever gonna hear what the actual production was and I kinda called it since way back when um, I was thinking to myself, there's a very good chance, uh, and I remember saying this in some of my videos, that this will be settled because if they go to court and they go to battle, then all that means is a lot of money is going to be spent, especially on legendary side, uh, in terms of getting this fought. And even if they win, then the other party, the three producers, can just appeal. And there it goes again to another particular battle. And all it is is just money. So I kind of called that um, that they were going to be settled beforehand. What this means, though, for the sequel is um, business as usual. It seems like this, uh, obviously, with this being lifted, the sequel is good to go still. And whenever it comes out in 2018, there's not going to be any impact from this lawsuit. Um, it'll be interesting, though, to hear what they were settled for. If I were to guess something, I'd probably say they probably got half of the, like the, something along the fixed compensation fee, but nothing in terms of the gross dollar receipts because that would have been way too much. We're talking again about a film that made more than half a billion dollars and each of them getting 3% of that half a billion dollars. That's a lot of money. So probably they probably got something along half or less, 50 cents on the dollar in other words, uh, to what they had. But yeah, I've included the link below, straight from Variety. Big news today, lawsuit has been settled, so anything involving this, it is gone. Uh, nothing else impeding the upcoming sequel. So, Alright everybody, thanks again as always, take care.